Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina, and I am bored. Let's go. Huh, never heard of a Mr. Multichrome Lab. I like one Mitchell PhD with a small Marsh PhD and a medium coat, please. Clearly the 50s, because who else knows about women than dudes? Case in point. Held anymore. The whole church was lighted with candles. First wedding I've ever been to. And golly, you should have seen the bride. She has What's your fucking language, goddammit? Ever seen. All white satin. Come on, we'll be late for school. Coming, Peggy. Oh yeah! Now. Bye. My goodness, Molly is certainly growing up. Can I say to her, Barge? What? Well, what? What up, brown nosers? How's your throat this morning, Molly? Oh, just fine. It doesn't hurt at all anymore. Well, you'd better stop by my office and let me take a look at it. It won't take a minute. Okay. Okay, Molly, let's take a look. <laughs> Jesus, how many dicks did you suck? Oh, yes. Oh, that's clearing up just fine. Going to the game tonight? Oh, sure. Will you please let someone else do the cheering for you? Perfectly not under the bleachers. Thing. Okay, I'll be careful. Oh, by the way, Molly, your mother left her gloves over at my house last night. Will you take them to her? I'm sure. right here to plan around no, OJ's house. See you later. Okay. Don't tell me she's in lesbians with her, too. You know. I've known Molly and her family ever since she first came to school. Thanks to the piles of bills in her trash. Too. On a very special Rosie. Molly lives at home with her father, her mother, and her older sister, Jeannie. Clearly played by a 30-year-old. Jeannie and Molly each have their own rooms. One of them will be but an Airbnb. They say it seems that Molly is more interested in Jeannie's room than her own. A young Judy Garland auditions for The Molly Wizard of Oz. Molly and get along, well, about as most sisters do. Molly! Good golly! What do you think you're doing? Seeing my pig needs this much lipstick. Come in and... hmm? Honestly, Molly. How many times have I asked you to leave my things alone? If you went through my stash of Merlot, I'll... And you didn't get all the lipstick off, either. Oh, I wasn't going to hurt your old things. I just wanted to try them. Clearly, Molly's well, last name is Gump. Things of your own. You're old enough now. Oh, God. Flashbacks to the What Are Periods film. Jeannie, when do you think I'll start having periods, too? You're not going to live oh, long enough to know. have them if you keep fucking with my shit. I was 13 when I started. Well, Peggy's already started hers, and I'm six months older than she is. She also well, took a so Spanish, what? even though Some she's white as mayo. Some later. We're all different. And from the way you've been acting lately, it shouldn't be long now. <laughs> now I get to wear this on my face like a mask. One day, not long after that, Molly came home from school. She was caught smoking marbles. School policy states, Paul Malls only. Is that you, Molly? No. I um, have a sign right here. Hi, what kind of a day did you have today? Mom, guess what? I don't know. What? Mom, I started my first period. Well, what do you know? Now you get to enjoy well, those same stomach pains I get, you little it. brat. When did it start? Well, it was this afternoon when I was changing into my gym clothes and I noticed a bit of blood on my panties and golly, at first I thought... Golly, I'm one! I'm bleeding and my no-nose wear! when we talked about menster... 
Menstruation. Menstruation and stuff. And, well, then I went to see Miss Jensen. Oh, my goodness. Welcome to the hell before menopause. Mm, kind of funny, like. I mean, well, I was hoping it would start soon. But it seems like I've forgotten everything you've told me. Well, in the 50s, right. women were treated as sandwich-making baby makers with not much brains. No surprise tonight. here. And if you'll give me a hand with supper, we'll get started that much earlier. Okay, I'll wash up and be right down. Can everyone stop blessing for Molly? Jesus! And it won't be long at all before you're quite used to it. You see, honey, menstruation is perfectly normal. It happens every month. When the boys get desperate yeah. and go for ass play. But why each month, Mom? Oh, it's just part of being a woman, I guess. Of course, right at first, you probably won't be very regular. Most girls don't settle down for a year or so. Even then, some girls go more than a month between periods and others less. Are we treating That's menstruation like too. oil changes? And eventually, your body will set up its own regular time. Please sit up, Molly. Oh, Mom, I'm comfortable. You don't want to look well, like a slut this early, do you? Straight, that'll give the organs inside your body room to function better. And that'll make you feel better. I'll get it. That's probably Peggy. If it's that dead collector, tell him I died and the funeral's tomorrow. Hello? Oh, hi, Peggy. Sure, just a minute, I'll ask. Mom, can I go swimming with Peggy tomorrow after school? I don't think I would, Molly. But I'd be home by 5.30. Well, well honey, you'll turn the pool into the Red Sea if you catch my period. drift. You might get chilled and catch cold. Oh, that's right. Peggy, of course I can't go swimming. You know I've got the curse. It's Montezuma's revenge. That's they think right. I might shit the pool or something. The first couple of days. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, now that's a creepy ass smile. Good heavens, Molly, you're growing like a weed. I'm gonna have to let that hem down again. Come on, I'll do it right now. Okay. All that leg and not much of a chest. You know, I've often wondered why it is that some women still call menstruation the curse. Uh, abdominal yeah. pain, mood swings, weird cravings, that? hello. And it is kind of a nuisance, isn't it? I suppose it is sometimes. Just that it sounded sort of old-fashioned to hear you say it. What are you two up to? Oh. Uh, drugs. How are the fights, Jim? No, oh, not bad. Something wrong with our aerial, though. We ought to be getting a better picture than that. What was all the talk about in here? Oh, it's about dinner. Is this a private conference? No, I don't think so. Do you, Molly? No, I guess not. You tell him, Mom. Well, Jim, Molly's growing up. She's having her first menstrual period. What? Already? Oh, shit, I'm, I'm buying for three up. now. Quick, what well, size I mean, pussy is Molly? Oh, only... Daddy, don't be so silly. I'm not a baby anymore. I know, dear, but, uh... Don't you be lusting after her, too. How many people are horny in this movie? No. No, honey, I... Guess you aren't. Growing up is fun. But some of the things Molly used to do seem a little silly now. Like setting fire to old Sometimes man Jenkins. Sometimes she gets all mixed up just thinking about it. She's changing from a child into an adult. And it's a little confusing at times. Molly had lots of questions about what was happening to her. Like, why do I have it a so penis? It so happened I had a chance to answer some of them. Her teacher was sick one day and asked me to take her class. Unfortunately, I too down half a bottle of and Jack that morning. And this is true of women everywhere. So you see, menstruation is just the natural, normal process leading up to being a mother. This is a diagram of the uterus, or womb. It's just like in my hint on enemies. Leading to it. And these are the ovaries which produce the egg cells. Now these egg cells are far too small for us to see. But once each month, an egg cell will leave one of the ovaries, go into the opening of the tube nearest to it. And then it's on its way to the uterus. Trust me, ladies, you're going to need this to argue time, abortion rights to men. a growing place for this egg. A soft lining of blood vessels and tissues. If the egg unites with a male cell or sperm as it's on its way down the tube, it is fertilized. And then when it reaches the uterus, it settles down in this soft lining and begins to grow into a baby. 
Quick tip, you're not supposed to penetrate the cervix. But It'll hurt like hell. But if the is not fertilized, it disappears. That really just needs to be flushed out like a turd, right? And then, since the lining is no longer needed, it too dissolves away. Don't wobble, they'll know you're drunk. And it flows out of the body through an opening in the hymen, which is a membrane over the opening of the vagina. And so we say that we are menstruating. Yes, Barbara? Miss Jensen, when does menstruation start? Oh, trust well, me, you'll know. Some start when they're 10 years old, and some when they're 16 or 17, or anywhere in between. But the average age seems to be about 13. No, I mean what day of the week will it start? My mother starts on Tuesday. Will mine too? I mean, don't oh, want to paint a can in the football team Friday. You tell me that too. You tell me that too. up her own time and rhythm. And the time between periods may vary anywhere from 23 to 32 days. And the flow lasts from 2 to 7 days, also depending on the girl's own rhythm. Miss Jensen, how often should you change napkins when you're menstruating? No well, idea. I've been trying for decades. Flow, but probably five or six times a day. And that brings up another point. Many of you girls haven't started to menstruate yet, but when you do, you will want to use a sanitary napkin to absorb the flow. Or if you're desperate, it's a folded a paper towel. It's a soft, pad, and it's made to fit over the opening of the vagina and to follow the curve of the body. Some might be big, some might be small. The tab ends are attached to a narrow elastic belt, which you can wear around your hips or waist. Not like what the boys now, do to their jock straps. Now, to use tampons. A tampon is a cylinder of absorbent cotton inside a cardboard applicator. It is inserted into the vagina by means of the applicator. That reminds me, I got a base of turkey. The cotton absorbs the flow, and when it is full, you remove it and discard it. Yes, Molly? Miss Jensen, is it true that people can tell when you're menstruating? Your no, foul mood and unusual urges for pickles should be, should be sufficient enough. About personal cleanliness and daintiness. Change your underwear more often and be sure and use a deodorant. And pay more attention to your hair and your nails and plan to wear your prettiest dress. In other words, be your most attractive self. Because remember, unfortunately, the men can't make babies their sandwiches by themselves. As you grow, your body changes from that of a young girl to that of a woman. It's becoming round with the beginnings of a bosom and the start of a real waistline and hips. Unless and your genetics makes your belly as big as a table. Pubic hair and underarm hair. Yes, Anne. Miss Jensen, what about dancing? Can you when you're menstruating? I yes, highly suggest can. not on a pole, honey. In fact, you can do most of the things you usually do. You can bathe or shower as long as you use warm water. And you can wash your hair if you're sure to dry it quickly. And you can swim if you wait until after two or three days after the beginning of your period. And you can go to dances and picnics. Well, make a but picnics for the boys. But it's not a very good idea to skate, or ride horseback, or play fast games like volleyball and basketball, or do strenuous dancing like square dancing, or anything that bounces you around a lot. In general, mild exercises are best. Ones that strengthen the abdominal muscles are particularly good. It's sensible to avoid strenuous exercise when you're menstruating. Like eight rough hours and in missionary. And you sure tell your mother or me if everything doesn't seem to be just right. Now, I'd like each of you to take one of these booklets about menstruation. And when you finish reading it, if you have any questions, be sure and come and see me. Not tomorrow. I'm calling in sick with and a remember, hangover. Menstruation is as normal and natural as eating or breathing or sleeping. <laughs> no. Soon, Molly will be a young woman like her genie, having dates, going to dances in lovely romantic dresses, having weird cravings for peanut butter. Friends. There are so many wonderful things to look forward to. Like an unpleasant marriage and ruining economy for millennials. Growing up, it's an exciting time. But high school will still be a living hell. See? This production has sounds, and photos, 